If you want to make music with the Arduino, the most basic way to do this is using the tone library, a resistor, and a speaker. But I'm too cheap for speakers, so I use this annoying piezo buzzer instead. I'm not off, Homer! It can't be turned off! Tone is very simple to use. You pick the pin, the frequency of the note, and how long to play that note. Very convenient, but how does it work? Here's a rough idea. The tone library uses something called timer interrupts. Timer interrupts are a way to have the Arduino do a specific group of tasks at regular intervals of time. The great thing about this interrupt is that these set of tasks can be set aside outside your main loop, allowing your Arduino to do something else. So you're essentially going in and out of your main loop and interrupt function at specific intervals of time. Timer interrupts are very useful once you get to know them. Besides making sound, you can also sample sound, or any signal that is periodic. You can manage a bunch of scheduled tasks, like moving a servo back and forth every one second. Okay, so we have a gist of what timer interrupts are, but how do you use it to create a tone? If you know a thing or two about the physics of music, you'll know that each note is a specific frequency. We can generate this frequency by quickly sending 5 volts or 0 volts to our buzzer here. With simple math, you can figure out how long the buzzer is set to high or low. For A, it is 2.25 milliseconds in order to achieve a 220 hertz tone. This means we need to interrupt our Arduino every 2.25 milliseconds and flip the voltage being sent to our buzzer. And that's it! Of course, there's more to it. But the programmers who wrote the tone library take care of all that baggage for you. And that is what makes the Arduino great. Beginners aren't forced to worry about these technicals meant for professional engineers. Instead, you are given a pleasant start in the world of electronics. Next time on Curious Components, we program timer interrupts and learn Arduino's true feelings.